Hello everybody, and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are going to be doing an update of our tier list. Last time we did this was in 1.3, it's of the waifu tier list, the most degenerate tier list on the account. Alright, uh, on the um on the on the YouTube channel is what I kind of mean by that. Um the most degenerate, of course, the most lighthearted, the most fun. Um actually it's not the most fun for me to make at least, but most lighthearted one for sure. Um, this one is just, are the characters hot? Okay. The reason these characters are considered unreleased, even though we've seen all of them in Panacone, uh, in the storyline, is because I can't directly uh, reference their in-game models. Just like I, I can't like, you know, do uh, some research. Okay, there we go. Got the alt tab working right. Um, okay. So first off is gonna be Zilla. Now, Zilla, in my opinion, is, she's hot. I mean, she got the mid-drift, it go crazy. Some characters have completely outscaled her in terms of mid-drift goading, though. But she is such a little cutie patootie, is she not? I mean, holy moly, holy moly. The thing on her leg kind of makes me go crazy. But the I think the thing that kind of annoys me is, like, why they make her shorts look like that, bro? Why, why, do, why do they look like that? You know, they just look odd to me. They look out of place. They're like her whole thing is like really beautiful, really beautiful. It almost has like butterfly wings as like her, her like cape here, uh, like behind her. Her hair is beautiful. Like she looks very regal, almost in a way. And then her shorts are just like the fucking fly is down, bro. The fly is down. Is anyone gonna tell her her fly is down? It 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 annoys me every time. Every time, I can't look at this character without thinking about it. And for that reason, Zilla is gonna be just an A tier. Okay, just an A tier. Um, let's put one QQ. I think is a really, really sweet character. But unfortunately, um. You know, she just doesn't. She doesn't have a lot of things I go crazy for, if you know what I mean. Um, and if I'm being honest, she kind of looks a little too young. I mean, that's just what it is. Right? It, it, she's not too young by lore, right? At least ninety-nine point nine percent sure. I, I, you know, uh, but she just looks it, you know, for my taste. So, yeah. Uh, Baronia. The hair annoys me. I mean, uh, her hair annoys the shit out of me. Uh, I mean, like, let's just look at it. Why it doing that? Why, why it doing that? What the fuck are those? Am I, am, am, am I literally... Am I making mashed potatoes in a mixing bowl? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we making dough? Am I at work again? Are we actually just making dough with the with the with this hair? Why it's spinning like that? Why it doing that? It's not it's not like curls. It's like she got out of bed, right? Her hair was very nice. She straightened it, right? She made it look very nice. A little bow in the back, and then said, "Give me the world's biggest curling iron," and just curled her entire head of hair into three massive fucking curls. <laughs> It really does annoy the shit out of me. I mean, her thighs with like the tattoo or the design on the the the, the pantyhose, it, it goes crazy, bro. And the thigh high boots go crazy. But I cannot get over these fucking water balloon ass fucking earrings and the world's largest curling iron putting three massive curls in her hair. It annoys the shit out of me every time, bro. It just annoys me. I'm actually going to put her a B. I can't, I, I can't do it. I can't. Anyway, I mean, let's get on to Asta. Let's just move on. Man. I can't keep talking about this. Asta is just the cutiest little patootiest. Uh, all right. I mean, she, she's such a sweet, sweet character. Okay. Um, we love Asta. She cute. Um, she kind of got it, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm a part of the ST 
empathy, the the small titty community. Um, and I'm an enjoyer. Okay, all right. I, I think she's really sweet. I think she's really sweet. I date her for sure. For sure. For sure. If these pixels walked up to me, I'd be like, "How old are you?" But like, that's kind of how it is with like every single anime character. It's it's it. That way, let's go to Pushwan. Speaking of that, let's go to Pushwan. I don't know why. I don't. I, I. I. honestly, I don't know why. But she gives me the same vibes that um. That QQ does almost the same kind of hair too, just longer. Um. And she's cute. She's sweet. But I don't know. She just gives. Like she's really short. I don't know. That's probably a part of it for sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm I'm gonna put her in C tier. I don't find a lot of attractiveness towards her. I don't find, you know, the thing about Asta is she's cute, and there's nothing about her that pisses me off. Right? I I like what she's wearing. Her dress is very nice. Right? Her clothes are very nice. Her hair is really pretty. Like. These little thingies that go out, like, holy shit, it's so cute, bro. It's so cute. It's so cute. Alright? I have no problems with Asta, okay? She's just not up there with a certain, um, other few characters. With Serval, the fact that her, she has, like, the fucking underwear that come up on her hips, and, like, she has the same kind of pants as Sila, like, they basically bought, like, they went to the store together, bought the same pants, but um, Serval remembered to button them up. Serval remembered that the fly was down. So she so she fixed that. Holy shit, man. She fixed it. And also, I mean, she got some knockers. Let's be real. And her blonde hair is really pretty. Not that it's pretty because it's blonde. But, like, her hair just in general with the how it goes to blue and it has, like, the, the dark blue streaks. That match like the feathers on her. She's dressed so nice. The thigh high goes crazy. Um, I mean, let's just be honest. Serval is a great looking character. All right, in terms of hotness. Okay, gonna be on the S tier. Gonna be on the low end of S tier probably once we get up there. But we're there. Natasha, I think Natasha is. She's like the OG hottie of the game, right? In terms of characters that were released, because Kafka was there in like the opening cinematic and everything, but I mean like in terms of characters that were released, Natasha is crazy. Okay, crazy hot. Them knockers are redunculous. Redunculous. Um Did they cover those or were they always just covered up like that? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. I mean, there's other characters like Black Swan out now. It's crazy. Um But I like what she's wearing. She got some knockers. She's really hot. I mean, she's really sweet too. She just looks like a cutie patootie. And she's gonna heal me if I get, you know, if I get hurt. Right? She's gonna help me up. She's gonna give me a hand. And that's a. Hey, that's what you need out of a partner. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go to Tingyun. Enough can't be fucking said. I swear to God, dude. I I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you, this did not change. This did not. If you saw my last one, I swear I'm not a furry. I promise. I promise. But holy fuck, bro! It's crazy. She almost brings a tear to my eye, man. How fucking Hot is this character. One of the first characters we, we're, gone, we're on right now that don't have fucking pantyhose, by the way. Which is fine, but like, holy hell, man. Like them, look at, oh my, like, I look at the dogs. I'm just, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If I ever get, if I ever get popular, this is going to be a bunch of fucking beat jokes. I can't, I can't make a risk. Like um, but yeah, I mean, she got the heel. I mean, she got the heel. She got the, whatever the fuck that is on her. Whatever the fuck that is. What are those called? Like hammies? No, not her hammies. 
behind the shin. What are those? Her calves? I don't know. <laughs> I think her shoes and her socks. Look, wait, not, not socks, I guess. Her boots, whatever her that whatever she's wearing, everything that she's wearing looks very cool. Very badass. She has absolutely no features that just piss me off. Like hair that makes no sense. Or big ass fucking water balloons hanging from her ears. Or anything like that. Uh, she got like the fucking ooh ooh cat ears. Her hair is just so perfect. It's so perfect, bro. It's so perfect. Her knockers, crazy. That button, fighting for its life! I'm telling you guys, do not sleep on Ting Yun. Sleep with Ting Yun. What? No, but I'm serious. I'm serious. Let's go to Shushang. I just love this character. Man, I miss when the days were simple and she was she was like one of my best characters on my account. She's an insanely good four star. But we're not talking about We're not talking about meta. We're not talking about character strength. I like her hair. Her hair is cute. I think it's a little odd. But it kind of gives me like Jinx from League of Legends vibes. Um and what she's wearing is kind of like it's pretty cute. I like it um, compared to other people, what other characters are wearing. It's all right, too. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the straps on her legs, the thigh strap, why does that go crazy? You can see the indent of the thigh strap on her thighs. Bro! It's crazy! She's hot. She's hot. It's hot for sure. I put her above Asta. Below Zila. No. Zila pisses me off. Man, like, your fly is down, bro. Your fly. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Oh, my God. I don't know why it pisses me off. It just pisses me off, man. It just, it just annoys me. I don't. I have no idea why. I cannot genuinely tell you why it makes me mad. But it does. Main character. I mean. I guess I can't. Oh, there it is. Main character. Just so whatever. Just so whatever. Uh, of course, they made the main character very modest. Um, you can't pretty much see boobage. Like, at all. You just can't tell what's under there. She could have some secret knockers, but, like, she probably doesn't. Um, what she's wearing is just whatever. You know, it's not anything insanely cool or anything like that. Um, wearing kind of basic boots. She really doesn't have anything. She doesn't have anything crazy, anything special. Um, and that is why I gotta put her down here. But she just really doesn't have anything going on. Like, let's be honest, she doesn't have anything at all going on. Yukong. Man. Ting Yun, a total. Fucking babe, and Yukong is no different, no different at all. This thing on her thigh is crazy, crazy. For some reason, I like anklets apparently because the thing on her ankle, it just makes her hotter. I don't know why. It's like the same thing, or it's like you put glasses on and you're hotter for no reason. Like you cover your face was you just like. I don't know. It's, it's, it's like accessories just make characters hot as fuck. Chokers make characters hot as fuck. And this dress kind of has, okay, I wouldn't call that a choker at all, but like, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe women would call that a choker if they, you know, the ones that actually know what the fashion is. Unfortunately, she's got this like fucking cleavage barrier right here. If that wasn't there, I think her, her like, the amount that the community talks about how hot she is would go up, for sure. I'm going to see past that. I think she's really hot. She's definitely not, in my opinion, as hot as Ting Yun. I think the ponytail just goes crazy for no reason. I think uh, Ting Yun's tail's a little bushier. Not that that matters, bro! Not that that matters, I'm just... I'm not a furry, I swear. But she do got some crazy knockers. Something we gotta talk about as well. 
is the like the high um strap underwear that she got going that like like swimsuit model or like whatever i don't know what exactly kind of underwear that that is but like it's super fucking hot i mean and her hair is like a shade of my favorite color i love it i love yukong and that's why yukong is actually probably gonna be at the bottom but she's an s an s tier for sure march 7th this is gonna be a low this is gonna be a low one unfortunately i mean march 7th is a cutie um she do be having some booba. Like, let's not underestimate the boobage of March 7th. She got it. I'm just not a big fan of short hair, in my opinion. That takes it down a little bit. Um, the choker's really hot. Uh the uh, the the thigh thing is really hot. But other than that, she kinda has the same vibe as MC for me. In terms of what she's wearing, it's kind of just whatever. Although I kind of do like that the blue thing wraps around, ties in the front, but like there, there ain't no way you're tying that thing around them cannons. Them, I, she's hiding cannons. I'm telling you guys, she's hiding cannons. We all saw it. Okay, we all saw it. But anyway, she's gonna be go top of A tier for sure. Let's go to Himiko. Um, and there's gonna be no surprise to where she goes. I think that Himiko is is. Has been and will always be one of the hottest fucking characters in the game. I mean, just look at it. I actually love the way that her hair kind of makes like a rose. It's like the bun that it makes back here. And she has like the roses around her. Very similar to her red hair having buddy, Argenti, uh, who's also an Eurydition character. I just think it's really cool. Um, And the fact that she has like all this. I think what she's wearing is really, really cool. Right? I think her dress is just really fucking pretty. For some reason, her high heels are like hotter than other ones. I think it's just because of the simplicity, probably because of the red as well. Um, yeah, I, I really love her hair and how like naturally curly it is in a way. And it's just like, I mean, Broner could never. I mean, like, world's biggest curling iron for her over there. But anyway, um, <clears throat> and the cannons, bro. That's like one of the first things everyone talks about with Himiko. I think like the this darker like these flowers on her thigh are really fucking hot. She's wearing a black choker under this, even though her dress, the 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 weight of her massive boobas is being held up by her neck with this dress. Um, I think it's Himiko at the top for me for sure. Gonna take a lot to move her down. Let's be honest. Um, who's next? Tofka. Come on, guys. Come on. We know. We know. Very sexually suggestive character. The the purple uh the purple pantyhose are crazy. Um the strap around the thigh is crazy. So hot. The thigh high boot is nuts. Um, just another woman wearing heels, by the way. Just every character in this game wears heels. That's a woman, but okay. I mean, I mean, it doesn't really take anything away. I think it's it's hot, it's cute, it's neat. Um, the the spandex kind of corset ish kind of thing that she's wearing is just so hot. Like you just see, like you can just really, I think it accentuates how big her fucking cheeks and thigh is. Size are if her if her booty was shown in the back too of what she's wearing, I think people would put her even higher than where they do now. Her cannons are cannoning as they do. I think the strap thing that she has going around it is also really fucking hot. Um I don't know why. I like the little butterfly pin as well. I think it's cute. I like the, the spider thing on the gloves, the rings are cute too. Um her glasses, in my opinion, are just like what the fuck? Bro, those wouldn't even go on your fucking head. Or they they wouldn't even like fit your eyes. Like they're not wide enough. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But her hair is really pretty, really cute. Um, like I said, I'm not really a fan of the shorter hair, but honestly I think she rocks it. 
Um, and the fact that it's in a ponytail kind of hides it a bit. Uh, the fact that it's a little shorter, but that's that's actually okay. That's actually okay. We're good. We're good. She's up there. She's up there for sure. And I'm gonna make. Yeah, I mean, I think she's there. I mean, let's just be honest. Silverwolf pisses me off. Silverwolf also forgot her fucking fly was down, and then she put her belt on right over it, dude. It makes me mad. It makes me mad. I just don't like her whole aesthetic. I have been a opinion haver of this opinion since she came out. I am not a fan of her aesthetic. I don't think that she's hot. The fishnets are crazy. That's like the closest thing. Um, the midriff being all the way out is kind of nutso. And the fact that she has like the, the band-aid right above the butt cheek, it's like, okay. Okay. Fishnet's crazy, obviously, here by the boot. But other than that, man, like, she just has nothing. She just has nothing that I really care about. She also took a little trip at the world's longest fucking curling iron. Um, Bronya gave it to her. Really nice of Bronya to do that. Unfortunately, I'm not a fan. I think Silverwolf is probably, honestly, I'm going to piss a lot of people off with that opinion, but below MC. I'm just not, I just don't care at all for Silverwolf's design. Next is Gwenaifen. Mama. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, she's really cute. She's really hot. She's got the side braid kind of going on like QQ does, but she's got like the uh, the one ponytail coming off the side. I think that's just hot as fuck. I don't know why. She's got the flower. She's, I think her design, what she's wearing, really fucking pretty. I love it. Um, I think her, her heels, her shoes, are really cute. I like it. I like that style. Something I also really like, the thing around her thigh is fucking crazy. I mean, I say that about every character that has it, but it's just true. It's just true. And the pantyhose are cute. They're cute. They go hard. She got some medium knockers. Um, And honestly, what, in my opinion, is just crazy hot. Um, She's got the choker. With like the fire symbol and i think that that's really hot too i think the straps that she has on her dress and like down her back also kind of add to her hotness but overall she's a really fucking cute character too um and she's gonna go up there for sure i think actually above serval but below natasha let's go to jing liu i don't think jing liu was out last time we did the uh last time we did this um or else yeah she wouldn't have the new thing but holy fuck, Jing Liu, could you imagine, bro? The knee-high boots, crazy. What she's wearing, insanely beautiful. I actually love all the different shades of blue. There's not one shade of blue on here that I dislike. It's like all my favorites, like the deep, dark blue. The, the blue going into the purple is really, really hot. I mean, I just like it. I kind of like the... um. The fact that her gloves kind of have like the the pantyhose look in a way, um, I'm, they're just like yeah, they're just gloves, but like they're just really fucking hot. She's got like the fucking uh, Iron Man shit in her chest, but not really. But the the flowers, the flower on her arm here, really cute. Uh, overall, she's got some nice boobage. She's got some nice boobage. Um. And her dress kind of goes up into this very, very regal looking choker in a way that comes down in the back. Um, I like the water droplet that's back there too. The red bow is really cute. You know, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to pull uh, the strings on that bow. If you know what I mean? Maybe get a little uh, action going. Anyway, the fact that she has a uh, blindfold. Thinking about it in this context. It's crazy. It's really out of pocket. Uh, uh, just thinking about like the blindfold in the context of you know what we're talking about in this tier list um, is just nuts. I'm gonna have to put her over Natasha. Um, no, I'm putting her in S tier. Screw it. I'm putting her over Natasha, but I'm putting her in S plus tier. She just has to go there. She just has to. I didn't even talk about her hair. 
But I think that she has really nice hair. I don't like the split. I, I don't understand how that goes off to the side. It kind of looks like hands, like, you know what I mean? But, like, other than that, whatever. I like whatever the hell she's got going on the top there with the bow. And I like the way it looks from the front, too, where she has it kind of, like, she doesn't have it all in the back. It has, it's coming down the sides, um, which is also very cute. A lot of other characters have that. Next, let's go to Zhu Yi. Zhu Yi also wasn't out last time we did this. Um, Zhu Yi. Mama fucking Sita. Mama Sita. Holy. Holy. I like the stuff that she's got going up her calf. I like this chain thing and the strap that she's got going down her thigh. She has a fucking tattoo that kind of gets cut off by her shorts. I love what she's wearing. She's one of the most unique looking characters in the game, in my opinion. Um, I love the I love her hair too. The different colors she has going on in her hair. It just it just works. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the short hair, but I think she just rocks it, right? You can rock it. That's the thing. That's the thing. I think that short hair is harder to rock, but um I think she does it. I think I, th I think I think she makes it work. Um, and I like the tattoo right above the clavage. That's very nice. That is very, very nice. And she's just cute. Just cute as hell. I kind of like the claws on her fingers. Am I weird for that? Just kind of thinking about that in the context that we're talking about this stuff. I'd honestly put her above Gwenaifen. She she just seems like a kink enjoyer, right? And that can be really hot. Topaz, I don't know. No, Topaz, let's go down here. Topaz is a cutie. She got so much love for the dumpy in the back, and that dumpy go crazy. It was nerfed, but it's still crazy. The fact that she's basically wearing all spandex, everything, and it's not covered by like a cape that goes over like almost every other character. She's got the thing on the thigh. She got the thing below the knee. That always goes really, really nice. Um, I like the little cape that she has, like just off to the one side. Um, that's really nice. Her hair, short hair, but still kind of cute. And obviously, she has the Ting Yun effect, where that button is fighting for dear life. The knockers want out. The knockers want out. Uh, that is why I got to put her. Probably here. I don't know. She doesn't make me feel as nutty as a uh, Zhu Yi does, but hey, we out here. Hanya, I said it when Hanya came out. Oh, oh I cannot believe is the only four star I don't have on the account. I said it before Hanya came out. Did they put that in between? breast this is is that new don't matter she, she's literally got a freaking brace between her breasts because they're so big they just run away from each other in both directions that is crazy what the, oh my god oh my god and just thinking about like you can see it like it's that kind of um it's like that see throughish spandex um pantyhose kind of material pretty much as a full suit around her body and then lightly wrapped with like very little amounts of clothing her her knockers, her her hanalana mangas, are probably the best in the entire no second best in the entire game, but overall her her look, her eyes, her hair is is really pretty. I like the things in her hair for whatever reason. It kind of looks like horns, which makes me feel a certain kind of way. Um. The tattoo, or maybe that's not a tattoo, but that's just uh it's either a piece of whatever she's wearing or it's a tattoo. Either way, going down her legs is so, so hot going down her leg there. 
dumpy. I mean, you know that dang thing. Like, you can, like, see how the cloth, like, rounds out there. Like, you know it's there, bro. You know it's there. You know it's crazy. And the fact that, like, everything is just, like, She might be one of my favorite characters in the entire game. Not only in ter in terms of thematically, her animations, whenever I first saw them, I was like, this looks like a fucking five star. Why is this a four star? In my opinion, I cannot even explain what puts the nail in the coffin. But somehow, in my opinion, this character is the hottest character so far she has beat ting yin we haven't gotten to the next two but oh my god let's just do uh black swan while we're down here let's do her crazy she gives me all the same feelings as uh kafka but like more but more i mean holy hell this character, the 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 strap, the on both the thighs, things going up the thighs, that kind of weave around. You can like see this. Oh my god, it's crazy. The midriff is nuts. The spandex shorts are great. Oh my god, the tight shorts are crazy, and the fact that she has. Honestly, I don't know if these are bigger than Hanya's, but. They're definitely more out there. They're definitely more in your face than Hanya's, for sure. And her hair is so pretty until you get to the fact that she used the biggest curling iron in the world. But I'm almost going to allow it. I'm going to allow it. I'm going to allow it because it didn't go all the way around, like spiral down like Bronya's and, and uh, Silver Wolves. But whatever that cloth piece, is that she has on her head on her hair i just don't know why like why is that hot it just is the heart around that that centerpiece on her neck is just also really fucking hot to me um the knockers i mean we can't really talk about those enough and you can see the cheekage you can see the cheekage when you wrap around it it's basically like the same as topaz's guys this character is so crazy it's just it's just Kafka, but better. It's just Kafka, but better. Right? Let's just be honest. Um, it's just one step above. I think a lot of people would probably put her in S, or like at the top, very top of the game. I have a very specific taste. I don't know why. I went that crazy for Hanya. I just do go crazy for Hanya. I've, got, I've thought about this. I've been thinking about making this tier list since Hanya came out so that I could place her at first. I'm like, yep, I can't wait to do this tier list so I can go bananas over Hanya and then put her in first place. And this character is just another character that goes really hard. I really like her hair. It's super cute. It's super fucking cute. Like, look at this. That's, that's a nice curl at the end. She didn't use the biggest curling iron in the world. That's so crazy. I think her hair is cute. Her eyes are beautiful. The flower is a little cutie patootie flower. Um, I like the the beads and the red gem and everything around her neck. It looks very beautiful. Everything she is wearing is so beautiful, so elegant. It looks very nice. I like the shoulder things. I don't know how to explain why, but I just do. Um, the thing around her thigh, obviously, I mean... I could go crazy over that. The flowers on the back of her heels, very nice. And the cape that's just like the branches with the uh, the cherry blossoms is so beautiful. The tassels are kind of whatever, but those are okay, of course. Um, the fact you can see the midriff from like one, two, three angles goes crazy. The flower above the cheeks is nice. Um, yeah. Some very short shorts. This cloth really cuts it short. Is she even wearing shorts? Is she even wearing pants of any kind? Well, not pants, but is she even, like, it's just an extremely short, like, tube 
dress in a way that like has a bunch of extra like design and thought into it it's just beautiful the midriff goes crazy i said this when she came out she was gonna be at the very top and i think she actually beats out kafka for me so this is the finalization of my waifu tier list this took a while this took a while hopefully next time i'll be out I'll, I'll actually come a little prepared so many characters are being added to the game and the fact that i want to kind of get a good look of their model every time i rake them or rank them instead of rake them like a, they're a bunch of leaves um every time i rank them it's just like every time it's gonna get longer um unless i find a way to kind of expert uh you know, make that not the case um but yeah can't wait to do the husbando one that's gonna take a lot less time but i'm very glad that we got through this i didn't realize Zhu Yi was actually gonna be above as many characters as she was i mean i knew she was really hot but like i didn't think she was gonna be there that she actually surprised me now seeing the list i'm very happy with where everything is um the fact that so many characters have come out since the last time that have made it onto s plus tier that being jing liu uh yeah jing liu black swan and anya and ruan may all there is really nice really nice we're getting some more getting some more up there um this game makes really good looking characters okay there's always going to be more s plus and s's than a b's and c's um but hey that's, that's how it is they know how to make hot characters that's just what it is thank you for watching the most degenerate tier list on the channel and on youtube i will update this of course uh in a few patches i think i'm gonna wait a little longer um because the longer these they're supposed to just be for fun right that's that's really it this just be for memes for fun just be degenerate a little bit um because i think it's funny um and it's just have a good time but if these things start running me like an hour i can't be doing them as often as i'm doing them i think like Four months that's a long time that might actually be okay but like four months maybe up to five months maybe six months maybe every half year i do this um unless we can find a way to shorten them i still have to do a husbando tier list after this guy pray for me all right thank you all for watching subscribe like comment you know what to do peace love you guys